Okay, here's a um, trigonometry application question. It says the sunrise and the sunset times of Yellowknife are given below. Sunrise, June 21st, 2.34 a.m., December uh, 31st, 10.11 10, a.m., and for sunset, 22, uh, sorry, 10.45 p.m., and December 21st for sunset at 5, sorry, 3 p.m. A sine solar equation of the form of well, as the stated equation, can be used to graphically model the time of the sunrise or sunset throughout the year, where t of x is the time of the day using decimal time format. That's what we have at 2.57 instead of 3.34 a.m. And x is the day of the year. And in questions 1 and 2, determine the equation of the modeling of the time of sunrise in Yellowknife. Determine an equation modeling the time of the sunset in Yellowknife. So what we will do is we will do the sunrise of this question first, okay? So let's graph that. So for sunrise, oops, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my x axis as straight as I can. I need to get another um, writing software so I can draw this line more straight. And I'll do, I'll do a vertical line here if I can get this moving. So here's my x and y axis, okay? And this point will be my December 21st. And this point will be my June 21st. So I'll say like June and December. And it says that December 21st, um, I guess the sunrise is at 10.18. So here's my 10.18 and at June 21st it's at 2.57 and remember the full all the days in the year equals 365 days so therefore December 21st to December 21st of the following year will be 365 days however we have exactly half the period which will be 365 divided by 2. So therefore, this represents a half of a cosine graph, like that, okay? If we were to extend it, it would just keep going like this, and it would end there to give us exactly 365 days. And what we know is, from January 1st to December 21st, there's a difference of 10 days. So we know that this function, since the cosine, we start at the uh, the peak, the maximum, at the crest of the sinusoidal function. So therefore, the horizontal shift will be 10 units, or 10 days, to the left. So we already found the horizontal phase shift of this graph. Next step is to, to, to determine the amplitude. So to determine the amplitude, we get the maximum point, which is 10.18, subtracted by the minimum point, which is 2.18. 5, 7, and divided by 2. And when we plug that into the calculator, we get, um, let's see, 3.805. So we now have the amplitude, and we already have the horizontal phase shift. So next uh, part is to determine the value of B. And B, if you recall from your trigonometry unit review, should be 2 pi over the period. And we know the period of this graph is 365, so we write it as 2 pi over 365. So now we have the B value, we have the amplitude, and we have the horizontal phase shift. So the last thing that we need to determine is the vertical translation. So in order to do that, we get, which is going to be the D, represented by D, we get our maximum point, 10.18, which is basically the um, y coordinate, added to the minimum point, 2.57, and divided by 2, which will give us 6.375. Now, we were given y is equal to, what was it, a cos b x, well, it could be plus or minus c, plus or minus d. So we'll Substitute all the values. So y will be equal to, well, the amplitude, we determine that as 
oops, 0 0.805 cos and then b was 2 pi over 365 and our horizontal phase shift was 10 units, well 10 days to the left which will be x plus 10 and our vertical phase shift was 6.375 up so plus 6.375 so that's um, the equation for the sunrise Okay, now for the sunset, <coughs> we'll draw our y and x axis again, which I'm having a horrible time doing. So, again, we have December 21st, and we have June 21st. And on, what is it, December 21st, we have a value, well, sunsets at 15, we'll say 15.00. Zero zero. And on June 21st, the sun sets at 22.75. And as we can see, as we noted earlier, this is going to be half a wavelength, or half the sinusoidal wave. And again, like before, um, remember, it was 10 units to the left. However, this time, the peak is at this point. So what we want to do is, we know that um, the period is equal to 365, so 365 divided by 2, and move that, subtract the 10 units to the left, which will give us a value of, when we round it off, 172 to the right. So our horizontal phase shift is 172 days, which is Ju June 21st, to the right. And again, to determine the amplitude, it was exactly like what we did before. It's going to be our maximum, which is 22.75 minus 15. Divide that by 2, which will give us a value of 3.875. And the period, we know. So therefore, the B value will still be the same. So it will be 2 pi over 365. So let me circle these values. This one and that one our amplitude and now the vertical displacement or vertical translation d will be equal to our maximum to 22.75 plus 15 divide that by 2 will give us 18.875 so when we substitute into our cosine equation y will be equal to our a which was 3.875 cos the b value which is 2 pi over 365 and our horizontal translation was 172 units or days to the right so which will be x minus 172 and our vertical translation is 18.875 units up it'll be so it'll be plus 18.875 and that's our equation for our sunset.